Welcome back. Well, if you're beginning a new adventure in life, like the high school kids that we had here, they'll be graduating. Hundreds of kids, thousands of kids will be graduating from high school and some college graduates as well. And maybe you're wondering what the meaning of life is all about. Hmm. I'm 26 and I still want to know. Let's take a look. So maybe you do want to know. I do want to know. Yes, and it's it can be the perfect graduation gift. We are talking about the wisdom of Merlin, um, seven magical words for a meaningful life. And the author of that book and dozens of others is joining us right now. I want to say good morning to T. A. Barron. Good morning. How good are morning. you? Thank you. I'm just great. I hope you are too. Well, it's wonderful to have you here. It's a pleasure and an honor to be talking with you this morning. Um, I know how busy you are with all of the books you continually write. So thank you for taking that time. We appreciate it. You're in Colorado this morning. Yes, I'm at home in, in Boulder, Colorado. And finally, spring has arrived. So I'm it, happy. It has arrived. And the, the new thing that has arrived is your book, The Wisdom of Merlin, The Seven Magical Words for a Meaningful Life. So you've discovered those words. Tell us about that, T.A. Well, you know, I've had a wonderful thing with this character, Merlin, now for over 20 years. I've, I've uh, felt like his scribe with him telling me ideas and giving me suggestions and also giving me the secrets of his lost youth and all that. I've had the fun of writing now 12 books and a movie script and lots of other smaller things about him. And so I actually really feel now I, I hear his voice sometimes. And, and I realized that, you know, when I was asked to give a speech um, to a lot of young people, mm -hmm. this was an opportunity to actually see what Merlin would say to the answer to that one question. No big deal, nothing, nothing major, right? Just what does it take to find a meaningful life? And you know, when I asked him in my, in my mind, he said, you know what? That question has only seven words in the answer mm. and that's that's what that's what gave me the organization for the book mm. so each chapter is about one of those words and the first word of course is gratitude mm. something that we all mm -hmm. need to um, really take mm -hmm. to heart and and to you Tom when you think of gratitude tell us about what that means to you Oh, you know, honestly, um, I feel like every day I start with a bowl full of gratitude mm -hmm. <laughs> because there's so much to be grateful for. Yep. Um, life, every breath, uh, loving family, uh, good health, uh, uh, the wonders of nature all around, the, the courage and inspiration I find from young people everywhere, mm -hmm. um, the, the, um, uh, just the, the opportunity to live and be all that we can be in this world and try in our own small ways, whatever they are, to make the world a little bit better for those around us. All of that makes me feel so grateful. And then in springtime, when there's renewal oh. everywhere, and yep. you know, uh, we have now crocuses blooming and <laughs> yes. and all the leaves coming out on the willow trees and, and new life all around, little baby bunny rabbits and, <laughs> and foxes. And I'm, I'm just full of gratitude. Okay. And, and I, when you said you wake up with gratitude, yeah. the start of your day, the first thing you think is being thankful. Mm -hmm. I, I love that idea. Yeah. Well, that's why, that's why um, actually the, the hardest part of that book, I think, was choosing the words and then choosing the order that they should come. And that's why mm. it was quite intentional that gratitude begins the book. And then it's followed by other words like courage, belief, knowledge, hope, compassion, words like that. So that's really, and of course, the very last word is just as important because it's the word that empowers them all. Mm. Love. And that, love, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, T.A., if you could stay right there, we're going to come back and talk about um, that, the book, The um, Wisdom of Merlin, Seven Magical Words for a Meaningful Life, plus something else that's near and dear to your heart, which is when you just look out your back door and how we can help Mother Earth. But we'll talk with you a little bit more about that when we come back. Stay with us.
Well, we are honored to have T.A. Barron joining us right now from Colorado. He is an award-winning author of many children and adult books, very inspiring person himself, um, speaks all over the world. And not only that, but we want people to know that you are an avid conservationist. And I love, Tom, when I go to your website and I look at your documentaries about how you're taking, taking us to the outdoors and saying, you know what, this is what we need to really be concerned about. Mm -hmm. And this is part of the meaning of life, like with your book, Atlas Rising. I mean, we are talking about our world around us, aren't we? We are, and you know, here's the wonderful thing about nature. Um, it has great resilience, and if we can just take better care of the earth, the earth will take very good care of us. So it's, it's a wonderful thing to do, but also let me just tell you, it's just a great delight to be out there because in nature, you feel both small and large at once. Mm -hmm. You feel humbled and small by the scale of it, but also enlarged because we're part of all that glory of oh, yeah. creation and, and we, are, we are enhanced by all that too. So that's actually why, you know, my prize for young people, you might've noticed that um, I, I give half of the prizes that we give, which are 25 a year, mm -hmm. to young people who've done something to help restore nature and the environment. And so the Barron Prize, the Gloria Barron Prize that I named after my mother, um, really is all about just one thing, which is turning the spotlight on kids from every possible background, every possible diverse situation, who have dug deep and found the courage and the mm -hmm. resilience to do something either for their fellow p human beings or for mother nature. And it's, wow. it, it's really inspiring to know them and meet their, the people and hear their stories. Right. You know, and it's just inspiring to listen to you. I, I, and I love your passion um, for writing. A lot of people probably don't realize you were, you were in the, the business world before writing and thought, you know what, I'm getting out of the business world and this is my passion. And you share it with so many people in wonderful ways with all of your books. The highlight, can you, do you have a highlight of your years of writing and, and sharing with young writers and, and things like that? You know, I, I have to tell you, it all ha it all, when I think about the, the moments, that, the great moments that I've been lucky enough to have, the, it starts with having the fun of, of walking in one morning as president of my company and, and having the fun of shocking my business partners and investors and saying, oh, by the way, the results are great, but I'm gonna move back to Colorado where I grew up and see if I can write a decent book because I've always dreamed of doing that. They thought it was completely nuts, but I'll tell you that was, that was uh, 24 years ago this month. Wow. And, and also um, 30 books ago. Absolutely, uh, so, wonderful. And, and, and best of all, five beautiful children ago. Mm. So it's, been a, it's yeah. been a great time. When I, when I think about young writers and young people along the way, you know, I get, I get just as much inspiration from them as I hope to give back. Um, it's wow. really, it's really to me, I, I love the energy and the idealism and the, the honesty, sense of wonder and sense of humor that young people have. And that's Absolutely. why I... Absolutely. And, and, and Tom, we are honored to have you on yes. our show today. Wish we could talk We're... for another hour. Thank you, my friends, and have a good day, everyone.